Hi and welcome back to the channel again. And this other video that we're going to do today for an unboxing um, is for Warlord Games Battlefield Debris. Um, we were, again, we were down in the toyment, again, pre all sort of restrictions for COVID, and um, was looking around the shop, weren't we? And uh, I seen it on the shelf and I said to Jamie, I said, you know, that could be quite interesting. You were uh, going, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And I said, well, if you don't get it, you'll get back on the motorway just slightly, and then you'll want to turn around and get it again. So you might as well get it now. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> so I did, I went back and got it. And um, it used to be undecided, but now I'm not sure. Um, so, um, so yeah, so we got that. So it definitely looks interesting. Definitely looks like you can use it not only for bat, uh, bolt action, chain of command, um, horse and musket pierce, and certainly a items in there you could use for that. Um, and, and various other sort of projects. Frostgrave was another one. There's some, again, some yeah. sideboards, some Welsh dresses, tables, wall sections, blown out wall sections. You could certainly use for Frostgrave. Use um, any, it for anything, really. Yeah, there, there's, there's definitely definitely a lot of things going on there. So, like I said, that's the that's the box. It's a little bit on the pricey side. Um, it's fifty pound retail price for Immortal Games, but obviously we got it down from Entoyment, which was forty five pounds. A little bit of a discount there. Um, but I think again, obviously we've not opened it up, so we don't know whether it's worth no, it or not. So, <laughs> so yeah, hopefully we'll get into it in a second. But um, other than that, it definitely looks interesting, and again, a lot of multi uses and that we can use for our games. So I'll spin the camera around, and we'll open the box up, and we'll see it all for the first time. So here we go then, the unboxing of the Battlefield debris. Um, this looks to be a really interesting uh, um, items and that for your battlefield to really sort of enhance your chain of command or bolt action world war ii i mean there's even some stuff in there i thought about using for sort of doing some sharp practice and that with this welsh dressers and the tables and that in there so yeah i think it's got a lot of good multi-rolled use in that so Let's spice it up yeah <laughs> you probably see i picked this up again as i said in the in the uh, beginning part of the video in toyman it was normally 50 pounds got it for 45 i couldn't resist it i'm a bit of a sucker for things like this um so turn it over there there's your what's on the back um yeah lots of bits and pieces in there so without further ado we'll get into the unboxing it excuse the old wrapping i'll just get that out of the way um so this is the first time even i'm seeing it so get them all out oh okay loads of little bags bits and pieces they're actually bigger than it looks on the box yeah it is, isn't it right okay so what we got in here then oh this is some looks like some barrels let's get a knife there we are. so there's a pack of barrels okay so they don't look too bad quite nicely molded I, do you know what? I think Stee from On Point HQ, I think he'd love a set like this with his basin and bits and pieces, dioramic basin he does. He'd like this. Um, little stop board, little stop sign. Okay, and that in there. So he isn't too bad. It's like a halt. <laughs> a halt! <laughs> oh, pile of tires and wheels. And that in there. So if I can. That quite nicely detailed. That's when your aftrack breaks down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, with trucks and that. Um, here we go. Some crates and ammo crates and boxes and supplies. So again, it's all hollowed underneath and that. So quite lightweight, all plastic. Uh, so that's very good. It looks like it'd be quite easy to paint as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it paint them up all sort of like ammo boxes coloured, the greens, browns. Yeah, and the fact it's got the page. stripes of the wood actually moulded yeah. on there is quite easy. Sandbagged in placement, look. These, I'll tell you what, these will be brilliant for chain of command because you can get an entrenchment or uh, for, for one team. That, ideal for that. Same with, say, using the boxes and that. So that's that's one set in there. That's just your wall to hide behind, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I like my walls to hide behind. <laughs> <laughs> Next set, oh, this one looks like it's the German Sentry uh, post. There we are. Let's get that out. Uh, that in there in a minute okay and here we have the sentry box that is i, I don't know if you want to show that up closer jamie that's got some lovely wood grain on the on the panel in and that that there again on the roof yeah so the wood grain would be really nice getting that painted up and that that really show through on that so I'll put that down with that. Is that what I think it is coming up? 
another little uh, sandbagged entrenchment Put there. Tank gun behind that or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some ammo boxes and that on there. A little one to show that show one. That one yeah, show a bit closer. Quite easily see some of the bullets on there as well. So I've really gone into a lot of detail on this set. I don't know whether you can. I will. I won't put that together. All right. Is that a little barricade? That is the little halt sign for the, the. And there's the two posts. For the roadblock roads. Yeah. Okay. In there. And here it is. And no, <laughs> no German sort of sentry box would be complete without an Alsatian or German Shepherd. <laughs> I do, like, I do like that. There he is. He's got to be able to make attacks. Barney the Alsatian. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's that and that. So the next set we've got here then. So that's some walls. Some yeah, there's like bits. some destroyed walls. This set looks like it'll be very good and very useful um, to go with their ruined farmhouse they do yeah. in Hamlets. So again, lovely detailing on the walls and that, the and bricks the door. and the door and that. Again, wood grain on the doors. I'll turn it over there the way. So that's really nice. I do like that. Destroyed telegraph. That's quite a good sort of splintered out in there. Again, thinking of Steve here from On Point, he'd, he'd really be uh, excited about using some of these bits for his uh, dioramic basin. And the window section of a building blown out there and little corner sections these are things corner section things like that these are little bits I, I like on on uh, on, on my diorama bases yeah and little diorama bases and that um, you know a pile of rubble and that just there ceiling joist come down there that's been collapsed so that's that one next one check that one out there Blown up cars, that's, eh? No, that's a blown up sentry box. Been shot to pieces, a little bullet hole. Oh, you want to show that one, Jamie? That looks quite good, actually. Little bullet divots and that in the sides and that. I think you could quite easily mould a Kazi. Yeah, you have a Kazi in there, <laughs> can you? <laughs> have a Dunny in there. <laughs> Take that one back there. Okay, no, thank you. And then this one. Oh, this one's quite good. This looks like a German BMW motorcycle. That's what happened to your crowd shoots and yeah. your pioneers in the last my, game. My pioneers, yeah. <laughs> That's quite nicely moulded. Like that that yeah. It's quite good. I do like that. This one's quite interesting. Sort of a roadblock with all sort of household tables, vanity mirrors. That'd chairs. be good for the roadblock, which you can buy. Yeah, again, chain of command, and that for your support points, and that is quite an interesting one. So yeah, it's got a little push bike in there as well definitely got a lot of uses for both bolt action and chain of command at the moment i can see from this now there's a bit more rubble piled up a bit more of a building wall section coming down again still hollow in yeah. parts of it so it's a nice lightweight cheers and there's another one there, all blown out. Looks like a plinth. Looks to be some sort of statue that's statue been blown up. Blown out, yeah. yeah, he's been blown off of there because that you can see his leg. Now. Yeah, poor guy. Center of your um, if your battle, if your, if your table, look, you know, you could have that's an objective to capture, and it's been blown out. You quite easily, not even, although the picture's showing it sort of grass, you could quite easily use it in like an urban city, maybe like Stalingrad. Stalingrad. That's another thing I was just yeah. thinking of actually with Stalingrad. Yeah. And next set here, this looks like to be inside the house or internal stuff. Sideboard Welsh dresser unit, looks like pots and pans still on it. Blown out as well. Again, you can still see some of the wood grain in there. Yeah. Okay. And then we got a table. It's like an office desk sort of yeah, thing yeah. in there, isn't it? Couple of scraps of paper up there. <laughs> right, tap. And then you got the dunny, the blown dunny. out dunny. <laughs> See, you can put that in the other thing. 
Try and get that in focus. There we go. Oh. Alright, and then the next one is the little vanity sink that's been blown out, little porcelain vanity sink. What's that? Sofa, been shot up and a bit sort of dilapidated. Doesn't look very comfortable. No. <laughs> So he's alright. And then there's the armchair. Okay. Well, let's see, we've got one more bag, isn't it? One more bag left, and that's it. Open this set. Oh. Alright, so it looks like we've got a bit of blown night rendered wall. sort of corner section T section of a corner wall set I guess that would be sort of like a terraced house set maybe yeah and blown out you could definitely make use of these some of these with the foreground That's blown out buildings thinking. I was just thinking that because obviously yeah. they got them with a the render on the side and the plaster yeah. and, the, and the brick and that was, yeah and right this one here oh, some more chairs and tables and that sort of been, been used as a sort of a uh, makeshift barricade Yeah, that could be quite good in the city fight. Yeah. Or it will chuck out and that again yeah. along with the other one that's in the set and that you can sort of make some nice little um dioramic sets up. Sideboards and so the chest of drawers look. Again, you could put that with that set and sort of across your um across your road. Make a hasty defence set with. Also be good for a sniper. Yeah. Breast on. Yeah, you can have him sort of snuck in between there, couldn't you? Yeah. And last but not, last least, but not least, good old teddy bear, Mr. Bean's teddy. <laughs> Why does this just remind me of Call of Duty World at War? <laughs> There's teddy bears everywhere. <laughs> no, that's the teddy bear you get from the bloody zombie. That's from the, the box. box, yeah, exactly. <laughs> bloody teddy bear. <laughs> anyway, so there we have it, guys. It's um, Battlefield Debris from Warlord Games for their, in their bolt action range. Brilliant little bits of kit. Um, Bit on the pricey side, I think, but overall, I think you can have a lot of fun creating some little dioramas and that with it. It's got lots of uses, not just for World War II. As I said, I think it'd be good. Some of it you could use for horse and musket. I mean, a blown night war is a blown night war. Welsh dressers are Welsh dressers. You know, you, you can use all those sorts of things for other. You could also use it for modern as well. Looking at those barrels. Exactly, the barrels like are modern. Sandbags is modern. You know, it. You know, this World War One onwards, that sort of thing. You could use all of that. Um, definitely, definitely got a lot of uses, very impressed with it and uh, look forward to getting it on the table and uh, showing you with some games. So there we are, go guys, thank you very much for watching this, hope you enjoyed it. Get your comments in below what you think to uh, the sort of sets like this. Again, like I said, a bit on the pricey side but good fun. And until next time, enjoy your wargaming and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>